When you're using Microsoft Teams and you're in a team meeting, you have the ability to use breakout rooms. These are extra meeting rooms that you can create where each of the participants can get into smaller groups to brainstorm ideas or work on their projects. Now, there are a lot of questions around breakout rooms, like can participants in the breakout rooms present and share their screen even though they don't have presenter rights for the main meeting? Can meetings in breakout rooms be recorded? Now I'm gonna address all of these, but first let me give you a quick overview of breakout rooms in Teams. So I've already started a meeting, I have other participants in here, and we're now ready to break out into smaller groups. To create breakout rooms, go to this icon right here and select breakout rooms. Here you can decide how many rooms you want to create. You currently have up to 50 rooms, but in this case, since we're a small group, I'm going to go with two. Then you can decide if you want to automatically assign people to the rooms or manually do that. Now you can also do a combination of these. So to make it easier for you, you can start off by automatically assigning them and then manually correcting any assignments. Now let's go and create the rooms. So Teams is going to set up separate meeting rooms. By default, it called them room one and room two, but you can go ahead and rename these as you need. Just go to more options and rename the room. I'm going to call this idea one, go to rename, and let's also rename this one to idea two. Now in idea one, I have Kim from Excel Plus and Chris, and in idea two, I have Nikki in there. Now, if you want to switch someone, just select them, go to assign and switch them to another room. In this case, it's fine. I want to keep Kim and Chris together, but in room two, I need to have Tom who hasn't joined yet. Another thing to mention is that these rooms are just being set up. Everyone is still in the main room. To actually start these breakout rooms and move the people from the main room to these rooms, you have to start the rooms. They're currently closed. So just a tip here, if you're busy creating the rooms as the organizer, it's always good to have someone do the presenting because it's really difficult to do both at the same time. Now, before we push the people into their own rooms, let's take a look at some settings. If we go to room settings here, by default, when we open the rooms, we automatically move the participants to the rooms. If you want them to manually accept and join the rooms, you can turn this off. In this case, I'll leave it on. And currently participants cannot return to the main meeting because this option is turned off. If you want to give them the flexibility to come back to the main meeting, you can turn this on. In this case, I'm going to turn this off. Now, another thing I want to show you is that in this main meeting under meeting options, I've made sure that it's only me that can present because there are quite a few of us here and I want to make sure that it's only me presenting here. But what happens when each one goes into their own rooms? Can they present or not? Well, let's find out. So before I open the rooms, I just want to show Kim's view. This is what Kim can see. Currently notice she cannot share her screen. It says that only meeting organizers and presenters can share. Okay, so now let's go back to the main screen. Let's go to breakout rooms and let's start the rooms. This automatically opens all the rooms here. And if we switch to Kim's view, we see that the breakout room session has started and she's automatically going to be moved to her room. Now we can see another room opening up. She's entered the idea one room and she should see Chris in here and she does. So in this room, notice she can share her screen. She has the ability as well to start a recording for this meeting. So as you can see, the participants in the breakout rooms have presenter rights. Now, whether you can record or share also depends on your organization's policy. So this is something that admin can influence. So from their view, this is just a normal meeting. Kim can go ahead and share her screen. She's going to go and open a presentation and share it with Chris. Okay, so they're going to be testing some ideas on how to do a presentation, how to talk about the team. 
They have the ability to chat in here, to share files. They can use the whiteboard and everything will be available after the meeting, not just to them, but also to the organizer. Okay, so now let's switch to the main screen and let's see how Nikki's doing. Well, she's still alone, so let's say I want to go and join her until Tom arrives. For me to go and enter any room, I just have to go to more options here and select join room. This is going to open up another meeting and it's going to take me to Nikki's room. And here I can chat with her, I can share my screen and whenever I want, I can leave this meeting and go back to the main room. So this one is on hold. I'm going to click on resume to go back to the main meeting room. Now I can see that Tom is here. I'm going to admit him into the meeting. So he hasn't been assigned a room. Let's go and quickly assign him. So just place a check mark here, go to assign, and I'm going to send him to idea room two. I can see that he's moving and soon he should move here to Nikki's room. And in case Tom can stay and he has to leave and you want to reassign Nikki to the other room, you can close the room and then reassign. So if you go to more options here, you can close this room. This is going to bring back the participants to the main room. You can then select them and assign them to the other room. If you want them to go back to their own room, you can just go and reopen the room and they're going to be pulled back into their rooms. If at any point in time someone has a bad connection and they end up leaving the meeting, when they come back to the main meeting, they will see join room on top here and when they click it, they will go back to their own rooms. Now we can see this room has opened and Nikki and Tom are back in their room. To bring all the participants back to the main room, you can close all the rooms and bring them back. If you want to send a message to the participants in all the rooms, go to options here and make an announcement. When you click on send, everyone is going to see it in the chat. Now what happens if someone in the room wants you to join their room because they can't agree on something and they want you to intervene? Well, let's switch to Kim's view. Well, what Kim can do is to at mention you or at mention the organizer in the chat because when they do that, you're going to get a notification and you're going to see it in the chat as well. Here I can see Kim's message and I can go and join the room from here or I can go back to the main meeting and join the room from here. Now Kim was in idea room one, so we can go and join the room and take a look at any problem they have. Now, what if Kim doesn't want to have others present. She wants to be the only one that has presenter rights. Well, she can't influence that, but as the meeting organizer, I can. So when I'm in the room where she is and Chris, I can go to more options here, go to meeting options and update who can present. Instead of everyone, I'll select specific people and I'm going to put Kim's company in here and save this. So now only she can present and others in her room can't present. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go back to the main room. Okay, so whenever you're done with the brainstorming and you want to bring people back, you can go and close these rooms and they're going to come back. Now, even if you delete the rooms later on, all the chat and the files and the whiteboard and the history will be saved and will be accessible in chat. Okay, so if I switch to Kim's view, I can see that she's moved back to the main room. Now, if we switch to chat, we can see any chat that took place in any of these rooms. And if there were any files, meeting notes or whiteboard that was shared, we have access to it here also after the meeting. So that's breakout rooms in Teams. I think we can safely expect new developments to this, hopefully soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and I'm going to see you in the next video.